Hey, this is Asha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And what I want to share with you today is the three main ways on how to make money online, whether it comes to YouTube, blogging, and much more. So stay tuned. I'm going to answer this question for you and give you some big picture insights right now in this video. Now, a lot of people are interested in making money online, whether it comes to YouTube, blogging, whatever. And all these things are a great starting point to think about is how do I make money with YouTube? How do I make money with blogging? But in the end, it comes down to the big picture concepts. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. Now, if you're completely brand new, don't forget to check out our freebie section at backstageincome.com where you can download a lot of checklists. You can download some getting started guides and things to really just jumpstart your online business. So check that out at backstageincome.com and go in on the freebies section. Now, with that in mind, let me share with you some thoughts and insights when it comes to making money online. There's really three ways, three main ways. No matter what other thing you think about, there's really only three ways. And everything else is kind of a subset of these three things. And if you understand these three things, then you could go ahead and virtually create you know, your own business, creating many different ways and offers and making money uh, on the online space. So step number one, or the number one way to make money online. I'm not saying this is the best way. I'm just saying that this is one of the ways and that is traffic and ads. And traffic and ads is all about uh, if you have enough viewership on YouTube, if you have enough uh, viewership on your blog, you could go ahead and place advertisements such as this video is sponsored by X, Y, and Z or the little pop-up ads that you might see before playing a YouTube video, those are traffic and ads. So the more viewership, the more views, the more readers you have on your blog or website, the more traffic and ads you'll be able to make from uh, sponsorships. So ultimately, when you have the traffic, when you have the audience, you can make money from traffic and ads. Okay, so that's the first way, and it's probably the easiest way. The second way is to go ahead and sell your product. So if you've seen some of the products that we offer or that we create, it might be a digital course, it might be, when I'm talking about product, it could also be a service, could be a book, um, could be a webinar, could be a coaching one-on-one. -on -one. So that's a service. So if you check those things out, so you could see some of the courses here that we have. If you go to the courses section on our website, and you check that out. You can see we have a handful of courses here set up and also some coming soon. And then we also have a coaching section here as well. So this is kind of uh, our getting started segment for people hey, who are interested in buying a course. Uh, that's our product. That's a product that we sell. And the coaching is a service that we offer, but it's still a product that people can buy. It's ours. It's something that I've created. And here's the books. So again, you could go ahead and purchase these books. They are a product. Um, that we offer. So this is kind of the second way that you could go ahead and make money. So we're selling a product. And it's probably when you're selling a product, you have the most margins because you have control over how that product is delivered. You have control over how you sell it, the price of the product, and much more. So uh, there's a lot of pros to it. The disadvantage, of course, is it takes time to create these things. There's a lot of know-how and um, sometimes they fail. That's just the nature of products. And then the third way is sell someone else's product. Now, this is really where it comes down to kind of affiliate products. So if you go ahead and let's say you go to the resources section. So here we have recommended resources to getting started. There's Bluehost, HostGator, Liquid Web, MailerLite, AWeber, ConvertKit. So all these links are affiliates, affiliate links, and it's someone else's product, it's someone else's service. And if people sign up, we get a credit or a cut or a commission for it. Um, and in that case, this is another way to kind of make money online or really from anything else. It's kind of like a salesperson. And this is what some of the big bloggers do is they promote a lot of these things. If you've seen them, hey, go ahead, sign up to Bluehost. Hey, go ahead and sign up for this uh, mailing list company. It's not necessarily the best, uh, but it's, uh, you know, they get a cut for it. So that's what you have to think about when you're doing these things. And that's why we kind of put three usually, uh, which one is the one that maybe I use, but the one that I use may not be the one that's right for you. So you have to always take it into account. Your situation might be a little bit different. So in either case, uh, this is another and third way to kind of make money online is by selling someone else's product, by promoting uh, these products. You get a cut or commission like Amazon affiliates, uh, ClickBank, those kinds of things. If you've heard of those things, that's really what they're all about. So sell someone else's product is kind of the last way to make money. I'd say it's kind of an in-between point between creating your own product and traffic and ads. You can make a little bit more. Uh, because you can get a cut or commission. But on the other hand, you do have to promote someone else's product. And sometimes that 
you know, you're promoting someone else's stuff could lead them to away from your company and business. But when you look at it in a big world, it's a win-win situation and relationship. So as long as you're doing a good service for your audience and viewership, you should be just fine and okay. And anything else that you really think about when it comes to creating a product, service, making money online is really a subset of this, whether you're making it from ads, creating your own product or selling someone else's product, it's really subsets of these, you know, uh, how you package them, how you think about them, you know, is a book and a course, they're different things. Yes, absolutely. A webinar, a class, they are different things, but it's still maybe your product. So think of it in a big picture way as you continue to evolve and look to make more money online. What are you doing? Is it fit into the traffic category? You're trying to get traffic. Are you trying to create a product or are you trying to sell someone else's product? And where it fits is going to depend on a little bit more different type of marketing that uh, approach that you may want to take. Anyways, I hope this gave you some thoughts and insights to really take a step back because I know some people, they really zoom in hard on, hey, you could go ahead and make a webinar, a class, YouTube ads, get this, get that program. And there's all these programs out there, but ultimately, when you look at it, what's the foundation of your business and how is it making money? That's the key. And once you understand that, then go ahead and look at what you want to focus on. Do you want to make your own products, sell someone else's or get the traffic and ads? then you can go ahead and focus a little more in that area and spectrum. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Remember to go ahead and get some of those freebies by clicking the link over here, or of course the links in the description, or subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking the link right here. Thanks again, and remember, do what you love, contribute to other people, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.